Does a backyard pond need to cost a fortune? And why do contractors charge so much? G'day, my name is Kev. The aim of my channel is to help people build and maintain ponds and water gardens without spending a fortune. If that sounds like something that interests you, feel free to subscribe and check out my website, ozponds.com. The first reason I have for why a contractor charges so much is just the cost of the materials. Good quality pond liner is expensive. And if you're looking to hire someone to concrete or fiberglass, the prices aren't much better. And preformed ponds are quite expensive for how much water they hold. Dedicated filter systems are ridiculously expensive. So of course those costs get put back on us, the consumer. The price of filters are the ones that frustrate me the most. At the end of the day, it's just water moving up through wet surfaces that are colonised by bacteria that will keep your pond clean, clear and healthy. Of course, a contractor isn't going to want to use cheap materials like olive barrels and half drainage pipes like I did on this pond. It's much safer for them to use specifically manufactured equipment. And I get it. If you pay for someone to build a pond, or anything for that matter, you want good quality in materials as well as workmanship. And unfortunately, backyard ponds aren't in every backyard, so the manufacturers don't seem to face the same type of competition that may exist in other industries and help drive prices down. I've heard other hobbyists call it a koi tax, and it can feel that way. I hope that over time more manufacturers and importers will join the space and that'll generate more competition. I imagine a contractor also wants to avoid callbacks. As they say, time is money. And if you're constantly needing to come out and show someone how to clean their filters, that's got to get costly. So I guess using off the shelf filter systems makes it much easier. Most of the better manufacturers will have videos showing how to maintain their equipment. Another reason why I think they charge so much is that it's pretty hard work. And I understand most contractors aren't idiots like me. They would hire an excavator and sling in the boulders. But hiring an operator and even just an excavator isn't cheap. And most of these guys have never built a pond before. And even with proper equipment, there's still a lot of physical labour that goes into building a pond. And with labour comes wages, insurances and superannuation. So not everything is the contractor's fault. But if you're like me and you can't afford to spend tens of thousands on the pond you deserve, you'll need to build it yourself. <laughs> and I'm not anti-pond contractor. There's certain pond builders I would happily pay tens of thousands to if I could afford it. But if you're interested, this channel has lots of videos on how I've built and maintained ponds of different shapes and sizes around my yard. And there's lots of videos on things like DIY filters and cheaper alternatives to equipment used by the professionals. There's also my website, ozponds.com. It has helpful articles and I'll sometimes recommend products and equipment that I think's good value. I also have a downloadable PDF that has all the formulas I use when I'm building my natural looking ponds with bog filters. I think everyone deserves to have a pond or water garden that they can enjoy without breaking the bank. I hope the content on this channel and the website is helpful. Thanks for watching. See ya.